I'm back and I've given some thought as to how we want to particularly tackle this animation conundrum. There's just a lot of parameters that we're going to need to pass in. So let's sort of mock it up over here in main and pretend that we want to create an animation uh, object over here. Let's say local an equals anim. And what we want to do is we want to pass in the x offset. Or let's, let's say this. Yeah, let's call it x offset. x offset. We want to pass in the y offset next. And I think we want to do that as separate parameters. We want to pass in the size. <clears throat> let's pass in the x size. Then the y size. Or let's just call those the width and the height of the cell. And let's pass in the... column size and that's the, the size how many columns there are before you increase the y offset and then we will do the number of frames you want and then we will do FPS how does that sound sounds great to me so let's let's see what that does over here let's just put it over here for parameters so our fps is just going to be fps and our frame well we're going to always start that at one our number of frames is going to be num frames our offset let's call it because we're going to have to change these so let's say start offset yeah. 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 For now, we'll just do that, and we're gonna we're gonna keep that a vector too, and we're gonna put those in there. And our size is gonna be width and height. Now, what else do we need? We need. Do we need anything else? Uh, I think we probably don't, I don't think. But we're going to have to say <sighs> Yeah, see this? We're going to need just a plain old offset. self dot offset equals vector 2. Alright. So really, we want a plain old offset here. And really, I think what we want here is we want self dot start offset dot x plus self dot size dot x times frame minus one, I believe. Because when frame is one, since we're one based in Lua, that should be zero and we should just start at the start offset. This one based offset stuff is, I'm used to working in the zero based offset. So now let's do self dot offset dot y equals self dot start underscore offset dot y plus how we're going to do this let's think about it self dot i'll get this wrong i know so you know you can scream as much as you want but it's not going to help because i can't hear you because you know you're not here with me <clears throat> we're going to have a, where did we, column size, we need self.column size, might as well spell it all the way out, just don't want to type it, 
Column size, number of columns. We want to increase this Um, let's see, self dot size dot x times self dot size dot no self dot column size. <clears throat> so that should give us the maximum width. What I want is self dot size dot y times really, I just want to know how how far along we are. And that's really going to be a function of what frame we're in divided by the number of yeah so should this not be the following instead of that we should do um <clears throat> num number of not number of frames um yeah it would be um self dot frame divided by self dot column size and i'm thinking we would do uh oops math dot floor that is a function in Lua, I believe it is. We'll see in a few minutes, math.floor. So what we want to do is we want to say, what frame are we on? And divide that by the size of the column. And if we're on frame 6, and the column size is 6, we may have to add one to that, but we'll see. Then we should increase our offset. Yes. I think that might be correct. We'll find out. And we'll have to have a way. Well, we can do that right now, I guess. Function animation.reset. Reset. Um, not sure if we'll need this. This is just coming to my mind. Self. Well, actually, let's just copy the things from up here. So we're going to reset the self timer. We're going to reset the frame. Um, I think that's everything that you'd need to reset. So there we go. We need to try this sucker out. That's what we need to do. So let's let's create one here in just directly in here. <clears throat> so let's do local a equals animation. And we're going to copy all the parameters that we've seen there. X offset 16, 32, width is 16, height is 16, column size. How many are we doing here? I don't even remember. Number of frames, they're right here, six. Number of frames is six. And the frame, the column size is also six. And the FPS is 12. <clears throat> Let's see. If that gives me an error, probably will. Probably got something wrong. Yes, of course, because I haven't, I haven't uh, required that particular particular file. So we want to say local. For now, we'll say local. Anim equals require 
require animation. There we are. So, okay, it looked like it created. That's interesting. Very nice. So we'll do. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. We'll comment this out. And we'll say a update PT. Let's run it again just to make sure. Yep. Oh, 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 what, 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 what? Animation Lua 29. Oh, of course. We need self. It's the self problem. Column size, a nil value. Where are we talking? Column. Oh, look, no N. Typing, typing, typing. There we go. Okay, so that looks like that is working, at least in that regard. Now what we need to do is... Should we pass the quad into the animation and have the animation, the actual animation class, change that quad? Let's do that. Let's let's just see how that works. <clears throat> so it's going to have its own quad. Man, I don't like that. I really, I really don't like that. I don't think it needs it, unless it's going to change. Let's do this. Let's let's give it the quad here, and. Let's take this and we'll update the quad here, which means that we'll have to put in the, what we call the sprite here. See, that's all going to be hidden eventually when we get all this put into the sprite, our sprite class or table, whatever you want to call it. So, and this isn't going to be hero sprite, this is going to be quad, set viewport, we're going to say we don't really need those variables and actually I'll keep them for clarity for now. We don't really need those variables, these right here, these self.offset.x and y because we're just we know the thing. We know the offsets based off of our current state. But let's go ahead and put all this stuff in. We know that's x. We know that's y. Okay, cross your fingers. Hey, it works. Except, as you can see, he's going a little too far. Now the question is, how many frames are we displaying? So, let's come over here and change this to one so we can see what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Let's check out the uh let's check out that graphic. Pull him over here, zoom him in. And he's supposed to be here, he's supposed to start here. He's down here. So he's not getting that one. He's getting that one, that one, that one, that one. And that's the one he, okay, like we said, this offset, probably going to be minus one also for this. Now let's see what that does. One, two, three. Did it work? I need to see those pictures again. I believe so. Yes. Yes, it did. Let's increase the number to one more and see if he pull, see if the uh, see if our X or Y offset works correctly. That should be this one, I believe. One, two. Yeah, I'll come back. Be nice to see what these numbers are. Okay, let's see what those numbers are. 
let me go into my settings. So I'm going to turn on debug to be true so that we can actually print things out here. And we're going to print out print self.offset. And I don't I think that's just going to be in end up being a table. So let's do x dot 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 self dot offset dot y. So let's check that out and table is going to appear over here. 32, 48, 64, 80, 96, 112. This is correct. This is not. This needs to start over. Of course, we, we're not we're not looping that. Okay. Let's think about this then. We want this to reset self.offset.x and we want this piece to go back to zero. It's going to be a modulo operation, isn't it? Oh no! That didn't work. Obviously I'm doing it wrong. Of course I am. Um, yeah, there's some issues there. I'll tell you what, we'll go away. It's about time to stop. I'll go off and uh, I'll figure off figure out a better a better methodology for this. I know there's better ways to do it. So uh, until next time, uh, enjoy.